All right, here we go. Calculus AB, FRQ1. I don't know which one's on the BC exam this might be, so this might be some BC problems. As usual, I'll put any corrections uh, in the description below if any point, if you guys point out any out, or if I realize I made a mistake with something. I'll also have a link to the PDF solutions in the description below. I'm a little behind on getting those up, but um, yeah, let's just take a look. So density of bacteria of population in a circular petri dish at a distance r centimeters from the center of the dish is given by an increasing differentiable function f, where f of r is measured in milligrams per square centimeter. Values of f of r for the selected values are given in the table above. Use the data in the table to estimate f prime of 2.25. 2.25 is halfway between here, and this is an we approximate it with a uh, secant line slope because I have these two points, you could say it's f of 2.5 minus f of 2 over um, 2.5 minus 2. And so this is going to be 10 minus 6 over 2.5 minus 2. And that's equal to um, 4 over, uh, oh man, this is a calculator portion. I don't know what I'm thinking. Calculator portion. So we're going to do... Um, Oh, I guess I could do this one by hand. 4 divided by 0.5 is uh, is 8. Now, what are the units of this? Well, the top are in milligrams per square centimeter. The bottoms are in centimeters. So this is milligrams per cubic centimeter. OK. Uh, just double check I made that, did that right. Um, oh, interpret the meaning of the answer. This is the rate at which um, the density of bacteria or I would just say the rate of the density of bacteria is increasing at 8 milligrams per square centimeters per centimeter squared. Um, When we say rate, I want to specify the rate of the density of the bacteria is increasing. Um, I want to say rate. The rate per per. It's not a rate per time, so I, I never like the word rate here. So I'm thinking the rate per radius or something like that. I don't know. I'm not really good at explaining this. The rate, like it's, it's basically if you increase the radius a little bit. Right, like that's how much the the density would increase. Oops, and that's um, eight milligrams per centimeter squared per centimeter. Right. Okay. Total mass of the milligrams of bacteria of the petri dish given by the integral expression two pi integral zero to four r f r d r. Approximate the value of two pi r f r d r using this. Oh, this is interesting. So we have to figure out what r times f of r is. And we have to create our own entries because you're doing the area of not f of r, but r times f of r. But you can do this from the table. It's just, you know, I've, I've never seen them do this. So 0 times 1 is 0, 1 times 2 is 2, 2 times 6 is 12, 2.5 times 10 is 25, and 4 times 18, ooh, 72, I think. Yeah, 32 plus 40, yeah, 72. Okay, so then, um, then we're going to do our normal intervals. So this is an interval width of 2, oh, oops, uh, in terms of r. This is an interval width of 1. This is an interval width of 1. This is an interval width of 0.5. And this is an interval width of 1.5. So my total Riemann sum is going to, so this is going to be 2 pi times, I have to do my widths. So 1, and I'm doing a right Riemann sum. So I'm going to do this 1 times the 2 there. 1 times 2. Then this width is 1 times 12 times 12, then this width, which is 0. 0.5 times 25, and then uh, 1.5 times 72. Okay, so that's the sum I would want to calculate. I'm still going to leave it in terms of pi. Um, you don't have to. Well, no, actually, let's listen, because it's an approximation, uh, why don't we just, just plug that in? 2 plus 12 plus point, uh, it's 12.5, then I'll just type it in, plus 1.5 times 72. All right, 845.088. And what are the units of this? 
um, because of units of data. So this is in uh, milligrams per square centimeter. Oh, what is this? This is so if you think of like this, like this is milligrams per square centimeter. Uh, it, actually, they tell you it's going to be in milligrams is the final answer. But just to see the units, this is in centimeters, and then the dr is also centimeters. So when you multiply it out, the centimeter squared cancels with the two centimeters. So that's why it's milligrams. Okay, is the approximation found in Part B an overestimate or underestimate of the total mass of bacteria in the Petri dish? Explain. So you're doing a right sum, and, and, and whether it's an over or underestimate depends on whether the function is increasing. Because the function is increasing, if I sketch an increasing function, when you do a right point estimate, it's going to be an overestimate. Because you're picking the larger of the intervals, and so you're definitely going to overestimate this. So it is an overestimate. Because r times f of r is increasing. I just want to double check. I did a right Riemann sum. Okay, I think that's fair. The density of bacteria in the petri dish is modeled by the function g defined by g of r equals blah. For what value of k is g of k equal to the average value of g of r over the interval? So let's find the average value first. Average value over the interval would be um, the integral from the total area of g of r dr divided by the interval width, which is 3. And we want to set that equal to um, g of k. Like what value of k is g of k equal to this? So let's, let's do this left part first by doing our integral. So let's see. I'm going to do math. Well, actually, what? Uh, it's okay. I'll just do it the long way. Function integral, I'm going to do from 1 to 4 of this function, which is 2 minus 16 cosine 1.57 square root of x. Ooh, let's see. Then I got to do, okay, I got to double check. That closes the cosine. Oh, I needed uh, to put a parentheses before here. So second insert parentheses. I'm going to close that, raise it to the cube, and that closes the integral, and then dx. Let's see what this is. So take that divided by 3. That's 9.876. That equals 9.876 is equal to g of k. And now we want to know when, when that is equal to. There's a couple ways you can do this. You can plot it, right, as an intersection if you want. Oh, actually, ooh, let me double check. Oh, I am in radians. Good. I was going to double check if I'm in radians. 16 cosine of 1.57 square root of x. OK, close the cosine. Um, then close that and cube it. And then I'm going to okay. Let's just set this zero. Let's just say this is 9.876. I'm gonna graph this. Uh, let's window this. So we need to only go from one to four. So one to four. And then let's say the y values go from like uh, zero to I don't know what's in. Oh, uh, let's see. It's gonna be Q. I don't know. Let's go from negative. Nah, it shouldn't be negative. It should be positive. So let's go to twenty. See what that looks like. Okay, looks pretty good. That's a pretty good estimate there. Okay. So that looks approximate. Uh, the reason I'm graphing this is I'm giving myself like, hey, does this look like the average value? It looks. It looks fair. Right, I, I think that's a pretty reasonable average value. And so now we want to calculate the intersection. First curve, second curve, and we just approximate right there. Intersection occurs at k equals 2.497. Uh, and that is in centimeters? Yeah. All right, and that's it.